Hello friends, my name is Pratik and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to see that if you are using Bheem UPI application for all your transaction and if you want to use UPI ID for transaction, then what are the steps involved in that that I'm going to explain. So if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and without wasting any time, let's start the video. To transfer money in Bheem UPI application using UPI ID, all you have to do is you have to first open the application. So once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to check out on your mobile screen. So there are multiple options as you can see, you can check bank account at the top, you can check your UPI ID and there are multiple more options. Now to send money using UPI ID, all you have to do is you have to click on send option. After selecting that, we are again on the next page and you can see there are three options, favorite, contacts and account plus IFSC. Now in order to send money using UPI ID, you can see on the search bar, you can uh, read it, search or enter UPI ID or number. So you have to enter UPI ID over here. So if you are sending an amount or if you're transferring amount to your friend's account, you have to enter his UPI ID over here. So let's do that very quickly. So once you enter the UPI ID, all you have to do is you have to click on verify. Now don't worry about this message. Now you might think that the UPI ID is wrong. To check out whether it is wrong or not, all you have to do is you have to click on verify. So I have entered the UPI ID correctly. Still, it is showing this kind of message. So ignore this message. Uh, all you have to do is just click on verify after entering the UPI ID. So now you can see it is verified. So you will be able to check out the person's detail to whom you are transferring the amount. Now you have option to enter the amount. You can select your bank account from which you want the amount to be debited. You can add a message in remarks section if you want to. And once everything has been done, you have to click on confirm option. So for example, I'm going to try sending thousand rupees and I'm going to change the bank account over here. In remark, I'm going to enter test as I'm doing this for testing purpose. So after entering everything, you have to click on confirm. Now, once again, it will show all the details. You can just verify it and click on send. So on the next page, you have to enter six digit UPI pin to complete the transaction. After entering the UPI pin, all you have to do is you have to click on this tick mark sign at the bottom. Now the payment is in process. So once the transaction is successful, you will be able to check out this kind of message. So you can just check the customer name, the transaction ID, the amount, the time and date of the transaction. And these are the simple steps which you have to follow if you want to transfer money using UPI ID in Beam UPI application. So that's pretty much it for today's video guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.